I am so happy you're coming to live with me, Pula. You'll have so much fun. I don't think so. I want to go home. Coco, why did Mommy and Daddy have to get divorced? Sometimes these things just happen, Pula. But they both still love you very much. But why can't I still live with Mommy? It's not fair. Your mother has to go out to work now. That's why you are staying with me. You'll have a new life full of adventure in my house. I left behind all my friends in my old town. Here we are. Home, sweet home. <gasps> hey! Who's that? Who's who, dear? There! Behind the cellar window! <laughs> There's no one there, Bula. You are imagining things. She mustn't find me. Wow. Look at all the stuff. It's fantastic. <gasps> I've got one of these at home. Ooh, uh, 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 Bless you. <gasps> who said that? Me. Me who? Me, Gigi. And you are standing on me! Ah! <laughs> Stop the world! I, 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 I want to get off! Oh, run, run for your life, Gigi! Humans are, are evil! Please don't hurt me! I wouldn't do that! You humans kill insects, you gases, you poisoners, and you squashers! Yeah, at last. <laughs> so, uh, who are you? Uh, and who are you laughing at? We wanna love! I'd never squish you, promise. I like this one, Mr. Z. Please, can we keep her? What? Keep a human as a pet? Not in a zillion years, no. You've got visitors. Oh, no! Not now! You'd better go. I'll be right back. You're supposed to hide from humans. But I closed my eyes. Gigi, when you close your eyes, you don't disappear. This looks delicious. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. My name is Navita, and this is Josh and Marcus. Just what this neighborhood needs, another girl. <laughs> Our f -f friend, Melissa, she wouldn't come because she th thinks the house is ha haunted. Yeah, ghoulies and ghosties. Wah! I've already met them. What? You, you can't have. Do you want to see them? <gasps> yes, yeah, yes! Yes! Tell me, these creatures, are they, um, friendly? Well, the gecko is. A talking gecko? Yeah, right. Well, what's up he here? Gigi, think like a statue and freeze. Wow! Look at this b -b book. It's uh, ancient. Huh? Books? They're so boring. Give me TV any day. No! Don't, don't open it! Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> who, who are you? Uh, quick, quick, close it! Wow! Look at that conch shell! It's beautiful! Now you've done it! If we don't get that shell back into the story, there won't be any stories left in the whole world! And that will be a humongous problem. 
Hi, I'm Gecko Girl, but you can call me Gigi. Oh. And I'm Mr. Z. The only way to get the shell back into the book is to read the story. <clears throat> Where stories come from. A Zulu tale. <gasps> wow. Oh. A long, long time ago, the people of the world had all they desired, except for one thing. Mama, please tell me a nice story. All right, dear. Once upon a time, um, how does it go again? Oh, oh um, there was, um... Oh, I'm sorry, little one. I don't have any stories to tell you. <laughs> oh, don't be sad. I promise I'll find you a story. Men's and Daba <gasps> went on a long journey and asked everyone she met if, if they knew any stories at all. Men's and Daba was sure that, that the mighty Marula tree would know a story. The marula tree was very old, as old as time. But he also had no stories to tell. After many tiring weeks, with no stories to be found anywhere, Manzandaba was ready to give up. Suddenly, she heard a noise coming from the river. From out of the water, there appeared a large bra turtle. Greetings, Manzandab. I have heard of your search for stories to tell. That's true, Bra Turtle. I have promised my child I would find one for her. Then come with me to the palace of the spirit people at the bottom of the sea. You will find many stories to make the children as happy as can be. Hold on tight. Bra Turtle took Manzandaba down, down the river and into the sea to a palace deep beneath the waves, there to meet the king and queen of the spirit world. We spirits have many stories, but what can you offer us in exchange? I, I could tell you about the dry lands. Tell us about your world, and in return, we will give you the gift of the stories. So Manzandaba began to tell the spirit people a little about the dry lands. Manzandaba spoke for many hours. The spirit people were captivated by his stories of the world above the waves. And that, your royal highnesses, is my life in the dry lands. Thank you, Manzandaba, for sharing such a wonderful new story with us. We shall now exchange ours with you. This magic conch shell holds many stories. <gasps> It's gone! <gasps> the king and queen asked the octopus what had happened to the conch shell, but the octopus had no answer. Without the conch shell, our stories will disappear forever. Pula, quick! Put the conch shell back into the story! Oh. Here goes! <laughs> The conch shell! It's been returned to us! Hold the shell to your ear and listen, Manzandaba. The shell will tell you many stories. At last, Manzandaba had found where stories came from. <laughs> stories for all the children of the world to share. Wow! So spirits gave us our very first stories. And now we make our own stories for future generations to enjoy. <laughs> Who said books were boring? They're great. Imagination is a wonderful thing. Your thoughts can turn ideas into fantastic stories and inventions. Paula, please can we visit Mr. Z again and listen to him reading us wonderful stories? Humans are not really allowed here in the magic cellar. Please, Mr. Z, we're promised to keep the magic cellar a secret. <sighs> All right.
right then, but only because I like you. Gigi's <laughs> got new friends. And so have I. Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> ah, the things I have to put up with. <laughs> Zoom.